What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. We have the Easter events, we have some good ones with a ton of rewards, we have some that are more free to play than usual, I'm gonna give my advice on it. And we have as well the new limited hero of Easter. Last year we had Esther and this year we have another one that is coming this Friday and this is the new one. And it's pretty funny because if you have a look to my video on the Sword Harbor Guard faction, I released it seven days ago and one of you added that comment. Actor, I have no limited heroes in the team. I am our devs. Oh yeah, limited hero in Sword Harbor Guards. <laughs> and in fact, you were right. They decided to add one in the Sword Harbor Guards. So for now, I don't know anything about her kit, so I'm gonna make another video talking more in detail about her. I want to take the time to understand the hero and to know exactly in what team and what content she can be good. And so I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time today uh, on the hero. So first of all, we have a new code to redeem that one easter egg so when you are in game click on your avatar as always the settings the redeem code paste the code and confirm and there we go you can claim nothing okay i had a space and there we go you can claim 10 extra excellent wishes this is not a lot but still cool some extra rewards for free First of all, before talking about the events, let's concentrate on the banner of this Friday. We are going to have Beatrix. This is a new limited hero. I'm going to talk about her in another video. We are going to have Faxian, Rista, Moxie, and Dakota. And about the epic heroes, we are going to have Deka, a new one. Uh, we know nothing about the, the kit of that hero. Novenik, Judge Lu, and Luf. So, Faxian, great hero, a great turn meta manipulator for uh, PvP. Uh, he's going to be able to revive one hero and to deal high damage in single target as well and increase by a lot the turn meta of your heroes depending on the number of heroes from the same faction you have in the team. Great hero for PvP, I love him. Rista is one of the best heroes in the game. He's gonna provide an attack buff 40% to your entire team. He's gonna increase the turn meta of the hero in your team with the highest amount of attack and share 33% of his own attack with the hero that has the highest amount in the team. This is great and as well you are gonna have an extra crit damage on that same hero with the alliance buff. This is an amazing hero for that. Who can as well stun all enemies in AoE and the stun cannot be blocked. Uh, so if you have a block debuff on enemies, they are gonna be stunned no matter. And as well, he has a block revival, so if you kill an enemy under block revival, nobody is going to be able to revive the hero. It can be useful in some PvE content, such as the, the last stage in the Tower of Mark. And the Elemental City on Rumil, I think this is the boss that can revive the minions. So it can be really useful. Moxie is a great hero for PvP if you don't have better heroes to use. She can transform and once transformed she is immune to every control and if she kills someone in front she's gonna get an extra turn and she deals high single target damage and she has pretty nice AoE damage as well. You are gonna need some exclusives on her so she's gonna shine after that but the damage she deals are amazing in PvP. And then Dakota is great for the poison team only in the Weathering Coast and the Faction Abyss. She's a great poisoner that can provide an attack buff 40%, a speed buff 40% to your heroes and deal high single target damage using the ultimate and so poisons on every enemy in front and also one time a wave she can revive one of your hero passively so this is a good hero for that. And I'm pretty sure that you can try to use her in PvP as well to, to use the revive and to deal high single target damage with her. I'm pretty sure it can work. I never tried that but I should. But for now, let's concentrate on the events. The first one is the colorful Gashafen. Gashapon? I don't know what does that mean. If you know that, tell me in the comment below. So this is a kind of lottery in which you have to spend some coins that you can buy only in the shop. You have nine at the beginning and you can try to obtain the rewards at the left. Uh, so in my opinion, this is... Not the best event we can have, but at least it's way more free to play than usual because you are not forced to spend to obtain some top rewards. I mean, if you are lucky, you are gonna get that chest because if you check there, you have 2% chance to obtain it, okay? And inside you have 
all limited heroes, not the new one, of course, and you have all the limited echoes. So if you are lucky, 2% chance, this is clearly not a lot, but you can have that chest. You have a 1 on 50 chance to obtain that chest, okay? So this is pretty cool, and I really do hope that many of you are going to be really lucky and get it over your 9 coins you have at the beginning. Uh, so we have other kind of rewards. We have that chest in which we can select the piece of gear we want. So that's cool because we have the best piece of gears inside. Then we have some Supreme Wish and other rewards as well. So I'm going to spend my 9 coins and we are going to see if I am lucky or not. Let's go. First chest. First egg. Sorry. Yeah, 500 coins. One echo. 500k more gold. Come on, give me the big chest. I want the exclusive 5 on my jingle bell for free. Be kind. Okay, 3 left. 2. A supreme wish, okay. That's cool. And 500k more. So, and you have a guarantee at the left. So, the more you summon, the closer you are going to be from the guarantee to the guarantee. And so, you are going to be forced to obtain the chest. But if you have a look to the shop. Oh, by the way, you can get one extra every day in that resource store. So, I'm going to spend one more. And I got another green one, okay? So, you can go in the shop. And buy some extra there. So I still have six coupons. So I'm going to spend them. And I can buy that one. So I have an extra. Let's spend the extra. So I spend six euros. And you, you get an extra nine. Okay. So let's use them. I got a purple one. And I got the second chest. So I can select one piece of gear. So that's cool. Okay, another green. Green again. Green again. I guess that you need the yellow one to obtain that one. So give me the yellow. Another purple. I got twice that chest. Cool. I wasn't expecting that. How many chests we have? 4% only. So we can obtain them multiple times. And every 80, you are guaranteed to obtain that? Jesus, I love that event. Of course, you need to be lucky, but look at that. So far, I got three Supreme, two of these chests, and other rewards for 19. So I spent 6 euros in total and I got everything inside of it. Probably I've been lucky because to obtain that chest, you have only 4% chance. And it reset the guarantee when you obtain the chest. So that's cool. Maybe I'm going to try to spend a bit more during the week to obtain my last copy of Jingle Bell because speed matters on her. When you have a Donald Rebel in front, you want her to be faster than the Donald so she won't be shackled. Okay, then you have another event and that one is full free to play. You have only one round if I understood correctly and the only way to acquire some of these is to do some quests. So everything is a free to play inside. Participate in dungeon 10 times, arena 10 times, and one battle in the Tower of Mark. And there we go, I have 6 of it. You have 36 in total over 6 days, and you can spend them. You have to complete some lines to obtain the, the rewards in lines, and the columns to obtain the ones in columns. So, I am going to focus on the Miracle Wish only, so I guess that I have to click, okay? And so you can complete one line every day. And there we go. I have two extra miracle wishes for free. Good job, Infinite Magic Red DH Games. This is the first time we have great events for absolutely everyone. So I love that. And you have many rewards for free inside of it. I love that. And add to that all the rewards we have in the different space temples. Look at that. You have another supreme and other uh, rewards to upgrade your heroes. And on the last one, you have... A legendary Phantom Dragon Eye as well. So these events for once are absolutely great. And of course you have things for everyone. So you are going to have the good deals in which you can get that pack for free. And then you are forced to buy it sequential, sequentially. 
I don't I don't get the word sorry in the in the right order so that one first that one then etc until you buy everything and so if you are a spender if you are planning to buy some miracle runes for the summon at the end of the week and get the limited hero in multi with multiple copies of it then this is probably the best pack you want to buy in total it's going to cost 240 euros but you are going to get 125 miracle runes and the price of it normally is 100 euros so but then you have 140 more euros you have that one normally it costs 40 euros at the end of the month of the hero quests and you have as well other rewards only the price of 10 of these chests is 200 euros so only for that it's amazing the rewards you have for the price you spend and you have enough experience for upgrading one echo to level one to the level max and you have some Echo Runes as well and some Dragon Scales. So if you are a spender, if you have a lot of budget, this is the packs you want to focus on. Then, of course, we have the Holiday Sign-In in which we have uh, many rewards for free and w more rewards for free. You have the Holiday Pass in which you have to complete some quests and get some more rewards for free as well. And then you can buy that line for $20. You are going to get six Supreme Runes inside and other stuff. But this is a bit expensive for the rewards you have inside of it, in my opinion. Then it's a matter of budget. And finally, you are going to have the, some Holiday Packs. Some extra Echoes. And excellent runes for a few dollars. You are gonna get some extra runes there for five dollars. You get 20, and you are gonna get these packs. And these are the best packs you want to buy if you have a big budget to have a ton of supreme and excellent wishes and XP potions. But this is still better to spend on that event only, the Voyage type event, because inside you are going to get a ton of wishes as, as well. And on that one, you are going to get the first copy of the new limited hero Beatrix. And generally it costs between 70 to 80 euros if you are planning to get the limited hero inside in that event, if you are using up to it and the cashback. So guys, that was all for the video. It seems like I have a lot of work to do on Beatrix to understand her kit correctly and make another video on her. Have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.